This weekend, the big lunch has been completely different. We've had the big virtual lunch. Thousands and thousands of people have been able to kind of get together through the power of this technology. Now, we've all been feeling a bit isolated and cut off in recent weeks, and events like this can make such a big difference. Celebrating the task that bind us, addressing the feeling of loneliness, have always been at the heart of the big lunch. We started, you know, on Saturday morning with flour making. We then had baking with, with Manon La Grève. A happy big virtual lunch again. Bisous! We then had afternoon tea on both days, on Saturday and Sunday. Even like way into the night, a, a big lunar lunch was held on Saturday evening. We then had a, a quiz, a fantastic quiz. So all in all, incredibly packed. As restrictions have been lifted, we've been able to see people still obeying the laws of social distancing. We have seen a series of big virtual lunches which have taken place in people's gardens, it's been taking place in, in, on streets, all within the safety of social distancing. Don't get food envy of anyone else's lunch, and just in case you do, I'm here to show you, you need to be envious of mine. Mm. It's been very, very different, but still at its heart is about bringing people together over food within their communities. In, in a lot of ways, we are going to be so much stronger in terms of community cohesion going forward than we were prior to this pandemic. massive thank you to everybody who's actually participated over this quite remarkable weekend. Thank you for all those people who are taking part. A big thank you to everyone who took part in this year's Big Lunch. Thank, thank you, you for joining in. See, See you next, next year. year. All made possible by the National Lottery.